Bada bada. I think all all fine bourbon bottles should be clothed. <laughs> I do. We should. Like we shouldn't have naked bourbon. They have their little, their little. Uh, what is it? Knights Templar uh, frocks. Yeah, it looks like a well, hospital that? gown. <laughs> a little paper hospital gown. Is the butt flap open? <laughs> yeah, but saves a fortune on bottles. On the. Uh, Matt, Engraving a bottle, you can just buy normal bottles and oh, throw the one. little paper Except thing. Add the metal and crap, which makes it more expensive. We should do this since we have a blacksmith in the family. No, they can make crazy little band. I think he's retired. I haven't seen a fire over there in ages. I think he's uh, actually working on the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers! Welcome, welcome everybody again. How are you? I feel like we've done this before. We have. I'm really excited. We're going to try Basil Hayden, one of my favorites. Um, I really like this. It says the perfect uh, bourbon for the common man. <laughs> because, <laughs> shut up Cody. He's laughing because we keep getting interrupted by dogs. Um, it's not too expensive, but it's a really good flavor, and we have been talking about, have you had this? He said no, but Cody says yes, then the dogs interrupt, and then we stop, yeah. and then we restart, and then the dogs interrupt, and we stop and restart, and Cody laughs, and the snot comes out his nose, and we stop and restart. Welcome over. <laughs> so let us look at Basil Hayden. This is a 80 proof Kentucky bourbon. Um, I believe it's from either Louisville or... Um, thereabouts uh, can't remember the exact place it's a really cool bottle because it's a fine uh, a pretty plain bottle with this cool little paper ap apron with a, a brass band around it with some balsa yeah. wood or something it's really cool this is Frankfurt Frankfurt is right out of uh, Louisville Louisville <laughs> I hate you <laughs> uh, I hate you um, and this is an old one too. This is from the 1700s, late 1700s in Kentucky, about the 1790s. So not this particular bottle, but this company. <laughs> so let us go ahead and look at this 31.99. That barely pushes it in the four or the um, the two barrel range. Two barrel range. I've got so many different marks here. The two barrel range at just over thirty dollars. Let's look at aroma. We have sharp, pungent, mild, light, or pleasant. <laughs> what the hell? This episode sucks! <laughs> it's just gonna be like every other word is you cutting in and out because <laughs> you have to cut out all this stuff. Yeah, no, I'm keeping that in. That was our coffee pot. <laughs> We're trying to stay sober here, folks. Oh, this is a very nice that. aroma to me. Got a slight little um, alcohol draw to it. You can smell the rye in there. Yeah, but this is. This is a really good aroma. I'm to, give it a three and a half. Cody gives it a three and a half. I'm giving it a four and a half. I was gonna give it a four. A four? Okay, so that'll be our average there is a four. I was gonna give it a four and a half, but that dove talked me out of it. <laughs> the dove talked him out of it. Uh, Cody's already decided that this episode's screwed because now he's walking around and getting coffee. He's over here. And he just walked all the way around. Now he's getting coffee. He's just Making as noise. bad as the dogs. Dogs are going to the window to bark. The birds were cooing. Maggie was walking down the hallway. Basil Hayden, if you're watching this episode, we are sorry. Um, and we would gladly do it again. Just send us another bottle. Or a bottle, since I bought this one. And we'll redo this one. So apparently, yep. because we're going to have to keep redoing this episode because of all the dog interruptions and stuff... Might as well send us a handle. Yeah, this is like our 10th bottle that we've got right now. <laughs> okay, so flavor. Very alcohol, bitter, palp palpable, moderate, pleasant, or rich. I find it very smooth and silky. 
can kind of taste the char and just a little bit of vanilla but I'm not tasting anything else and for the darkness you'd think you'd get some caramely dark fruit yeah but or tannins and I'm not getting that so it's it a does. very smooth flavor to me you can taste the rye too because this is a heavily it's not a rye whiskey but it's got a lot of rye in there but it's I'm giving it a 3.5 I want to give it pleasant but it's not quite matching the aroma and so I, I can't the flavor is not giving me that richness that the aroma is but it's not moderate to me we have a little thingy down there that he's looking at I'm gonna give it a four wow boosting it to four and I, I have no problem with that I'm just trying to be a little bit more pragmatic here and say that it's not quite reaching that pleasant and now we're waiting for the ever suspenseful <laughs> Cody three and a half okay so he matches me and the bite I say it's probably a, a 3.5 there's very little bite to it I'm giving it a four four across the board Yeah, three and a half. <laughs> three and a half. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, I need to get a hold of all of the raw footage and do a compilation video of all of y'all doing. Eh, eh, yeah, eh, yeah, eh, yeah, there's no yeah. comment on it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I'm trying to do some math here, and you guys are interrupting me. Yeah. Is the hamster having trouble? That's sort of. They smell. I thought it was a fire place but from his ears smoke coming out of his ears hamster caught on fire so i am giving it a 13.5 you got it a 14 cody's got it a 13 so it's a 13.5 which is a three and a, a three point seven five because a 13 would be a 3.5 so we can round it up to four because i would get definitely give it a, a bonus up to the four because Cody or Andy's in the even four. Oh wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> I'm so tired. Hey, no matter what, I would give it a bonus to four. Um, Andy's at a three and a half, and we're just under a three and a half because of the price. Yeah. Because of the price, I want to raise it to four. Yeah, I say give it a four, just because this is this is a much better bourbon and the price is not giving it where'd you get this at total wines and more sells it for 31.99 i think i bought this one at our local up uh what is it liquor depot just down the street what are you looking for there buddy well, i was just kind of realizing that there's booze behind us yeah <laughs> that you're on youtube no the tamp tax stamp tag it's really like a bunch of us don't have those anymore. I don't know where, when you got to have it or when Probably you... local Texas doesn't have to have it imported into Texas. Probably does. Okay. I know that's something for you to keep an eye out next time. Yeah, I noticed that earlier today and I was like, hmm. Now the uh, international stuff all yeah. have them. And that's why I started noticing it because the ones we were doing from... Italy. Italy. And I was like, well, these ones don't have a taste. So I just, I might do a little research on that and see what, a little, what the. Little research. Little. Lilville. Little bit. Lilville. Lilville. Lilville research. Because <laughs> I don't want my hamster to catch on fire. <laughs> I think that's already passed. <laughs> it, it self incinerated a long time ago. It's just a skeleton of a hamster. <laughs> Spinning round on the wheel. No, the wheel's spinning, and the hamster skeleton just kind of rolling there. <laughs> I like it. I do too. It's oh one of my, my favorites. Gosh. When I say I like it, you're just like, what? You gotta have to give it a barrel rating. We already gave it a barrel rating, didn't we? They all get barrel ratings. Yeah, but when I say I like it, you're like, okay, well, that's done and done now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what he says anymore. Oh, how are you going to drink this? Straight. Yep. Just like it is. Probably in a crystal. 
But I think I'll definitely buy this if I ever get any money. Yep. That's what the bird's saying too. Yeah. So the bird's going, "You ain't got no job." No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That was mean. I'm sorry. He's got it. He's got a job. But... Can don't afford no ice cream. <laughs> I got me some ice cream. It's an old shtick from a stand-up yeah. comedian that you would never have heard of. His name's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I have the knife? All right. So yeah, I drink this straight. <laughs> Make sure you. Uh... I'm so darn. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out the blog. Share this video. Uh, make sure you make some comments. Nice comments are better than bad comments. Uh, normally we get nice comments and I forget to share them with you. But sometimes we get bad comments and I don't want to share them with you. They're get some merc and... Drunks are mean. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Ah, uh, come here, boy. I'm gonna beat you. Yeah. Make sure you pick up the merch. We're both wearing merch. I just, they're on the back. Yeah. Wearing merch doesn't seem to help when you're in a store. Nobody ever asks you about that. I have seen some people, because I've been wearing, this is the five barrel. Uh-huh. And I have a couple, seen a couple people turn around, and they're all, like, looking at my shit. And they turn around real quick because they don't I think they know. But it's it's the retailers and the distributors you want to notice. And so they're like, hey, why don't you take this case and re review it for us? Gosh. We're bad. We just want free booze. That's so it. What you're really saying is when you start going to liquor store, all decked out in merchandise, just having to drop business cards everywhere. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> like the little flower girl. <laughs> All right, make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and we'll check you next time. There's a little dog here that's got to go pee-pee. Sure. Pee. Yeah. Oh, go pee on his pee. foot. I said pee-pee on TV. We're going to de get demonetized. <laughs> go go yeah. pee on his foot. <laughs> Bye. Laters. Man, them last episodes always get it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>